presence of this assembly and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity to pass my life in purity
for being with us for this program, which is always a blessing for us now. We thank Dr. Manveer, Administrative Director for Tumbeach at different level and height, sir. Thank you, sir. We thank Dr. Mahmoodi Medical. We thank Dr. Samir for helping, uh, for the helping hand he renders always, and also for the best creative I gather here to witness the celebration of the great day. The nursing department is one year old in this hospital, in which we had ups and downs. If we view from different angles, God from our provost ma'am was something that I cannot express in words, which is beyond words. If you go at this pace without any limit of stretching, one day you will reach a position which you may not think of now. So that actually supported me a lot. That gave me strength. And all the more, the support from our doctors and other departments makes our effort successful as we are, a we are a department which communicates and interacts with all the departments on a daily basis. Thank you all for being good team players. I wish a successful year ahead for the nurses. Start your day with a prayer. Live your day like a prayer with the patients and end your day with a satisfaction that no other job can give you. Thank you. One is so inspired by the event. Uh, I'm actually, I teach a few nursing <laughs> students now, and I'm just thinking in my mind, I wish they were here to witness this and be inspired by it. Uh, I'm sure the time will come when they will be participating. Um, but it's always nice to be here. Marilyn did warn me that I have to say a few words. And I was trying to search something related to 2016. And this is what I read, that nurses a force for change, uh, improving health system resilience. And I was wondering what is this word resilience, and if I could find something more regarding this. I find them, and maybe in damaged infrastructure. Respected Provost Ma'am and my dear friends, thanks for having me over here. As Provost Ma'am has said, you are a force to reckon with. Force to reckon with starts from whom? From Florence Nightingale. The passion which she basically created at that time, that had to be carried, that we need to carry forward, not only in the generations that we are in, but in the coming generations also. Internal Medicine Department, and we all met and met our professor. His name. We met him. He told, okay, yes, we will do this, we this, we so just to be prescribing medicines and all those things, so I'm damn happy about that. So when we reached my ward, where we were around six or seven people of us as interns, he handed us over to the nurse in charge of that place. She said, she'll be your teacher. And she was our teacher. She taught us how to be given, how to start an IV line, how to do phlebotomy. So my first, way back in 1998, university was established, which was the medical college of so with these words, I'd like to basically thank you all for being a part of our group. And now, together, as a team, we have to move ahead. We have to provide best service to the patient so that once the patient care comes to the international standards, that is where we see that we have achieved something in life. Thank you so much. Bangera and colleagues, it's an honor, you know. This is the second time we're gathering and the family has grown. So I'm always a big supporter of nurses because you have the maximum touch points with the patient care. If you take care of the patient, everything is okay. Coming to Provost Pam's speech, the quote from my side is, you are the spine of the hospital. If the spine is okay, everything will be okay. And as Dr. Manveer said, this is just the start. We have to walk that extra mile to achieve the goal set forward by our founder president. The dreams are big. So much from them, and I can just say we are very lucky to ultimately under the founder president, Mr. Thumbi Mohideen. But we have learned so much from ma'am and sir, work closely with both of them, with a lot of projects. And uh, same thing with Sister Merlin. Actually, we all start, uh, I was with her from the day one. So, and uh, for as far as dentistry goes, we say, help us in giving the best smile to our patients. I would like to thank you all from the bottom of my heart, especially Sister Merlin. She has been not only a leader, she has been a good friend.
philosopher and guide. So a lot of times when I'm in difficult situations, I don't know where to go. I call her and disturb her a lot. Thank you, sister. Thank you, all the nurses, for all the great support. Please keep working hard. Keep smiling to the patients so that more patients come to the hospital and our work <laughs> becomes less. So as a marketing team, so please work hard and give big smiles to our patient faces. You are the best ambassadors for us. Big, biggest marketing tool I have. So please work harder for this. Thank you. patient, tuberculosis positive patient, I will be getting, I will be taking in that droplet. And what happens, once the droplet is inside, it will goes into the lungs. Once it is, it goes into the lungs, it's the lighter. We show the placing practice in the 19th century. That day we have in, in a room, we have a lot of patients and uh, there was not like a modern kind of bed, nothing was there that day. And uh, she was alone taking care of all these things. And this is the 20th century. We have uh, some uh, facilities we have, but not like the present. This is the 
this is the most uh, modern nursing. Uh, we have a modern kind of bed and the patients have almost all the necessary things inside the room.
Providers and Government. Thank you, Sir Hogan, for understanding and being with us always. Once again, I thank all of you.